and action. Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Fish and Girls. We've got some fish in the cooler. We're gonna make some simple fish dishes with some side poi. Feed it to our peeps and have a good time. Everybody stay tuned. for this episode of guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Fish and Grills. The first fish that was shot was a palani. This fish is a pualu, and they are both part of the surgeon fish family. They are very similar in shape, size, and in taste. Both are usually seen in darker colors, but there are many variations of these species. The eye-striped surgeon fish, or the palani, typically has a pale brown body with a lightish color stripe across its eyes. The ringtail surgeon fish, or pualu, is a bit more bluish gray in color with a light colored spot behind its eyes and with a noticeable whitish color ring around its tail. There are also different types of deep sea pualus and palanis with a bit more darkish purple shade throughout its whole body. Further research on these fish have yet to be done. And if anyone else has any more information about the differences, please drop a comment below. This fish is a Nanui or Hawaiian chub. It's a native fish to the Hawaiian Islands and it was said to be reserved and raised in ponds for the Hawaiian Kingdom. Also a popular game fish for throw net fishermen as well. They can be found in large schools on the reef shorelines and near shore breaks, and typically growing up to about 10 pounds. Their meat is firm and mild in taste, and it goes great prepared as poke, sashimi, or just straight on the grill with your favorite sauce. or the unicorn fish is also part of the surgeon fish family. The meat is similar to its cousins, the palani and pualu. The meat is much lighter in color, but also comes with a firm and mild taste. The kala also has sharp-like knives at the base of its tail, just like all surgeon fish, but its skin is more like sandpaper instead of scales. All right, here we have a surgeon fish. This is a pualu and this is a palani. Same family, different shade of color. This is a light, like a light bluish. This is like a light brownish. Same flavor, same family. We're gonna cook it up the same. We're gonna chop it in half, throw it in a fryer hole, show you vinegar, and it'll be delicious. Have his minuis. We're gonna skin it, fillet it, dice it up, and make some poke. Alright, 
for these guys, it's going all on the grill. All right, with this guy, this big old call over here, we're gonna fillet one side and make some sashimi. And the other side, we're gonna throw it on the grill, let it just cook in its own skin, let it be all delicious. Tonight we're gonna make some kala sashimi. Now we're gonna take up the bones. For our sauce, we got one part kikoman shoyu, and they got one part apple cider vinegar. Grab one of these guys, boss them in. Who's gonna meet our first guy? Shoes, bro. Fucking okay, only last place, dog. <laughs> Alright, next in the menu, we got crispy fried whole palani and pawalu topped with some sauce. Alright, let's get the oil hot. He's <laughs> ready, ready, bro. Stand back, it's gonna hurt. I'll be okay. Alright, my rosemary is all cooking up. Can sort of. Woo, smells good. Let's get our fish in there. It's a big old head. Oh. It is that cooked for about maybe 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Next fish, boop, boop. Stay tuned. Are right, you can I grab your chopsticks, bro? How do you get it? How do you grab it? Come on. Here, chop bones. Chop bones. Oh. Chop bones. Ah. Savage is, savage is oh yeah. Mm. Eat the bone and all. Alright, shimmy is half eaten. We got the fish cooking. The grill is for our for our dish. Let's get it. Try throw those triggers on there. Just added water, put them inside, shake them up. We got the fish and the poi. Kill them, big boy. <laughs> oh, we got a floater. Here she go. 
All right, here we have here is our grilled kala, first taste tester. All right, last piece all done. All right, now that fish is all fried up, let's get started with our pokey. All right, now that it's all diced up, let's start adding in our ingredients. First ingredient, Hawaiian salt. Okay, come on, show you. Ponzu. Sesame seed oil. Limo, kohu. Yup. Yup. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's your home plate. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. So, this is all of our fish from the other night, stripped it off the bone. I'm going to go through it one more time. We're going to mix it up with some sausage. A lot of these other ingredients, throw in some rice, surf and turf, fried rice deluxe. Stay tuned. All right, first we're gonna go through our meat. We're gonna double check for if there's any bones and break it up and get ready for our fried rice. I think it's a long light and I'm not burning my hand every time. Oh, we're upgrading over here. Started from a small lighter, now we're here. And always fish and grill standard, rosemary. And our first ingredient of the night, pokeji sausage. And we got minced garlic, and we got minced onions. All right, now that our sausage is all cooked down, all the other green side, let's get our fish in there. Okay, chili peppers. Peas. <laughs> Alright, so eating our rice. Eating. Alright, now let's start adding in all of our flavors. Oyster sauce. I think I want to show you. Not too much, not too little bit. Just Sesame seed oil. One scoop, hoisin. Quarter pound, tegu. Eggs, green onion, butter. Now let's stir. And as always, we make extra feed their friends and family. Love thy neighbor. To the next neighbor. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious, he says. <laughs> All right. All right, here at Fisher Girls, we love to catch fish, we love to cook fish, but even more, we love to share our cooking with others. Hope you enjoyed this episode. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. All right, quite a set. All right, so we have our fried. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, so we had a sashimi. <laughs> All right, so we had a sashimi. We had our. Hold on. Great. Stop looking at me. No one's looking. All right, we had. 